Hi everyone, back out of Russia here again. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, on today's episode, we thought it'd be fun to take you along for our weekly shop and show you what shopping's like. Wow, the snow is crazy. Show you what the shopping's like here in Siberia, Russia, and some of the little differences between that and what we used to in Australia, where we're from. Anyway, let's get into it. Okay, the uh, wasn't there wasn't that much snow on the on the car, so so we get the rest of the family, make sure we get the shopping bags, and we can head off. Everybody in the car, shop bags are in, let's go. So here's the lockers, you can leave your bag in here. Uh, what do you want to do, 11? 11. Scan your fingerprint. Put, and that's it. Put your jacket in there. A bag in there if you want. And then over here, they've got like a place you can like get your jacket hung up. It's pretty cool. You come back, you put your fingerprint on there again. And then it spits the, well, it opens the door and you can collect your stuff.
So this is a area where you can hire a pram. I say hire, but basically you put like a thousand ruble deposit, which is about twenty dollars. And then yeah, you get a, a pram, and when you take it back, you get your deposit back. It's a pretty nice feature. The shopping center. All right, so this is uh, where you walk in and. At Ashan, where we normally shop, we shop here once a week because uh, that's as much as much food as our pantry will hold. This section here, uh, all on the left here, is usually it's a seasonal thing, so it changes for different occasions, um, time, like different seasons. They'll change it um, for different holidays. So like um, Den Pobiedi, which is like Victory Day in Russia. Um, Defender of the Fatherlands Day, which has just been 23rd, I think, of February, and then what's here right now, Vosmova Marta, uh, which is just basically <coughs> um, 8th of March. Uh, International Women's Day is pretty big here in Russia, and so everything's all chocolates and flowers and bath mat, uh, bath towels and soaps and whatnot, all stuff for to give the women in your life make them feel special so yeah sometimes of the year this will be like all canning um, and sometimes uh, there'll be like fridges and freezers there depending on what time of the year <coughs> so yeah one of the things that we've noticed different here in Russia is that uh, if you want to get a note a notebook just about everything is this grid paper um, it's quite difficult sometimes to find um, yeah, that's all grid paper, grid paper is this one? Oh, there we are ordinary lined paper so yeah <laughs> but most of it most of it is just grid paper you can see that's grid paper, grid paper, grid paper what's this one? Uh, some more lined paper. This is the pen section. It's quite a lot of pens. A big range. Oh, a good enough range anyway. They've got a few brands that you might recognize. Stabilo. That one. A few other ones I haven't seen before. But we, we like to buy these ones because they're cheap. It's 10 for about 50 cents um, you can also one thing that's different here is that they have these big pieces pads of paper so you can try your pen out yeah that one works tips good on that one so yeah we'll grab 10 of those so another thing that's pretty big around the time of uh, International Women's Day is that it is the start of spring so we're technically in spring right now even though there's snow everywhere and so we have loads of um, like seeds they're not always here but now it's like a big section full of seeds so you can buy like a bag of seed onions for about two dollars Australian, two Australian dollars, and what about a dollar fifty, I suppose, American. <laughs> so, ice cube tray says, "I love you." Hey, this is perfect for our chocolates. So basically, you can get just about anything here. There's, um, you know, pots, pans, cooking supplies, stuff to cook in it, uh, seeds, <laughs> to grow your vegetables, all kinds of stuff. So one of the things that you can do here um, is they've got like um, plugs near the lamps, um, so you can test out all the or whatever you want to buy before you buy it to see if it works. And uh, one of the 
one of the interesting ones is the uh, night night lights. They actually have built the packaging, so you don't have to take it out of its packet to uh, test it. And basically, all you do is come over here. And I've got like a little socket, and whoop, pretty easy. So yeah, that was different. And here's the toilet paper. They have your usual kind of stuff that would you be used to. You got three ply there. And then you have the super budget stuff. So this stuff is uh, what one ply? No ply? I don't know. But each roll is about what is it? 10 cents? Uh, 10 cents American, so a little bit more than that. Australian, about 12 cents, 13 cents, I guess. Compared to a four pack of this two ply, is a little over a dollar Australian. But we buy them, when we buy our toilet paper, we buy it like this. We just buy like a whole pack like that. So, yeah, pretty easy. Lots of it around, as you can see. No, nobody is uh, panicking on buying this stuff. Nobody wants it. So unfortunately, with our level of Russian, this is how we still read what exactly the ingredients are in the different things. We try to get as natural as we can. And uh, it's not, you know, easy to find. Most of it is... Uh, not very natural as you can see some pretty well-known brands Zhidki is a uh, liquid it's an adjective Milni also an adjective uh, which means soap and Strishki shavings except for it's in liquid so you have to change it's a liquid. But it's supposed to be 100% natural. What is that? 100% safe product. For hand and machine washing. There you are. I found some already. <laughs> This is the coffee, hot chocolate, tea section. You've got tea on this whole wall. Tea is very popular here in Russia. Coffee is also popular, but not as popular as tea. You've got like this whole aisle is just tea on that side. Hey, that's a good tin. That's our little girl's got a little list. We, um, my wife uses a, a, she's got a paper list she takes with her to see what's, uh, to make sure we get everything. And um, she gives our little girl um, her own little list so that she can be part of the shopping. It's got like just a couple of fruit and veggies that we need on there. So one of the things that's different about um, shopping in Russia is that all the loose kind of stuff that needs to be weighed, in Australia you would just put it in a bag and then take it to the counter at the front, you know, when you're going to pay at the checkout, and they'll weigh it and uh, put in their, you know, computer what it is and uh, then charge you for it. Here, you have to weigh it yourself before you get to the checkout on these scales. 
there's nothing to do it for me. Oh, there we are. And then you just punch in your number over here. Um, and then it gives you a tag, a barcode that you stick on it. And uh, if you go to the, if you get to the checkout without doing that, they'll send you all the way back out here to get a tag. So, or a sticker. One thing that was kind of surprising here was that you can get unwashed carrots, unwashed potatoes, and unwashed beetroots here. You can get washed varieties. Actually, I haven't seen washed beets, but you can get washed potatoes and washed carrots, but they're quite a bit more expensive. All right, so we've got our cabbage here. What's the number? 124. 124. So we stick it on the scales, weighs it, and 124. Or you just put the number in over there. You get your tag, which has got your barcode on it. Stick it on there. It's all done. So cucumbers and tomatoes are quite a staple here in Russia. They eat them all the time. And uh, at the moment, it's probably one of the most expensive times to buy them. It's 149 rubles kilo for these. And um, that is about well, $3 a kilo, roughly. Um, when they're cheap, they're about, I don't know, less than a dollar a kilo. So here's the, uh, oh, I've forgotten the Russian word for it, caviar. So the Russian word for it is ikra. And it's stored under security stuff here because it's quite expensive. Over a hundred dollars. Over a hundred dollars a kilo. This stuff here is about a hundred dollars American a kilo. And this here is about a hundred and $20 Australian. So this is the bread section here, the bakery, sweet pastries over there. But what I wanted to show you is um, we, when we come here every week for shopping, we get these laposhki as a, as a bit of a treat and they're fresh cooked in that, that oven right there. As a friendly man comes and gives them to us, make sure they're hot. These ones are still warm. All right, so eggs in Russia uh, done a little different than Australia. You buy them in a pack of 10, not a dozen. And, or you can buy them in a pack of 30 or even 15, but they're all pretty much multiples of five. This is a 15 pack here. But one of the other things that's interesting is you, some of them don't come washed. So like these ones, which we normally buy, they don't come washed, which means that they last a little bit longer. You don't have to keep them in the fridge because they've not been refrigerated, which is pretty good. You can just keep them in your pantry. This is the smatana or sour cream. You get it in different things. This is 20%. I think it refers to the uh, fat content, cream content or whatever, 15% stuff. Very popular here in Russia. You can't have a meal without it, basically. Uh, I think we get this stuff because it's the cheapest, 20%, 38 rubles. And then just over here is the milk section. Oh, we don't buy milk here. Um, for any of you that follow us along on Instagram, you'll know that we get it from a milk uh, truck that comes from straight from a farm. And... Uh, yeah, it's good stuff, not homogenized. And I don't even know if it's pasteurized, but yeah, you can scrape this cream off the top. Really good stuff, and a little bit cheaper than the stuff here at the shop anyway. All right, 
So, like I said before, there's our Smetana, cheap stuff. Children are all asleep. <laughs> Over here, we've got glues and what every handyman in Russia needs some spray foam. Right next to the sticky tape, close second. One of the other things that's quite different here is that uh, the checkout ladies actually sit down. And you also have to pack your own bags. Alright, off to the next shop to get some replacement mittens because my fingers... Yeah, I'll see if I can show you. Uh, kind of. I can see it, but you probably can't. But my fingers are poking through. So yeah, not super good for cold weather. Anyway, that's where we're off to now. Alright, so it's not quite a bit out here. Um, over here is where the uh, where we're going. This uh, big budget shop is called Base. Uh, that's the name of the um, shop we're going to. But just over here is the car market. They sell all sorts of car parts, bumpers, wheels, tires, all kinds of accessories. The little tiny plastic clips um, that always break on your door cards and stuff like that. Um, all your trims and stuff, all that kind of thing. It's all over there. Um, it's quite handy. There's all kinds of tools and stuff over there. Oils, bearings, you name it. It's there. Lots of stuff over there. Anyway, um, it's pretty ordinary weather out here. We're going to go inside see if we can find some mittens. And uh, yeah, show you the inside of the shop. These are pretty good, eh? Got some woolly on the inside. Not fancy looking, but eh? So, <laughs> English words here. Quite popular to be on clothing. But uh, quite often don't make any sense. Nike and the swoosh name are and logo are trademarked and your guarantee of quality. Swoosh Nike and the swoosh name and logo are trademarked and your guarantee of... Yeah, that's exactly what I was talking about. Can you see what's wrong with this? University of Arizona. Alright, well that's it for today. Unfortunately we didn't get more footage of inside the clothing store, but they didn't want us filming in there, so we decided to stop and uh, 
not offend them anymore. Uh, anyway, we did manage to get the mittens, which is good, so my hands will be warm in the winter, um, or even right now, I guess. Um, but yeah, we just stopped here at the moment to pick up a parcel for my sister-in-law. It's just like a PO box style system, so pretty easy. So yeah, we're just gonna pop in and do that, and then we're gonna head home. So basically, that's the end of the video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to give it a like and comment down below. Let us know what you think. If you'd like to see more videos of what our life as an Australian family is like here in Russia, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next one.